Hey, what's up, bye guys, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now, I am still a little bit sick, so my voice might be a little weird, but I did get some stuff done, and I did want to make an episode on it. So, not too long ago, I was challenged by Ida Seven Man, as I've always pronounced his name, to make a mobile crane. Now, I could have made a construction style crane, but for those who've ever played spin tires, I can think of at least one person who has. In the game, there is a logging crane, which you use to move logs around. It's also very useful for helping you get vehicles out of the mud. So I decided to build that. Now, normally there would be a logging apparatus on the back with a trailer to haul your logs. But for frame rate reasons, I could not get either of those in. I did actually make a version with that, but I did have to take it off because it just wasn't capable of handling it because this crane has quite a few bearings in it you get it to operate properly now normal operation it does drive just drive all right it's not very fast which i didn't intend it to be because it's supposed to be a logging vehicle it's not meant to be any kind of race car or anything like that so that i'm not all too worried about now when it comes to this, the big piece of resistance is the crane on top. Let me pull up here next to our quote unquote log or pipe. If you just plan on hauling pipe with this, you can. Now going through the buttons, it is a bit complicated. One and two raises and lowers right now, I'm pressing one. Three retracts crane, four extends it. So if we press one and four, and get the crane to come out and down five and six rotates the claw seven opens and closes the claw and then a and d rotates the crane so let's get the crane lined up over our log here or i'm just going to call it a log we all know it's a pipe and let's extend it and lower it down now we just have to reorient our head of our crane so that's lined up with the pipe seven to open and now we can just hit one and lower it down we should get a decent grab on it here there we go lock on now about here is where the frame rate drops because we grab this the claw tries to grab as tightly as possible which causes some weird collision effects which is why our frame rate dunks be careful when trying to pick up something especially if it's far away on your right or left because you will start to tip you do want to try and bring it closer to you before you lift it if it's in front or behind you you're a whole lot better with that but if it's to your side try and get it as close as possible before picking it up or else you will start to roll the vehicle like it is now it's slightly tilted so i'm actually going to try and lift this up Bring it in. I want to try and get it behind the truck so we have a bit better weight distribution. Let's get it up high. There we go. Hit 5 and A at the same time. Okay, we need to extend this out a little bit more because it is hitting our truck as we do this. All right, so it is behind our truck. Now let's hit one to lower it near our bed. Hit a little bit of three to get it a bit closer to our bed. And right about here, if we had the logging apparatus on the back of the truck, we could just let this go. But because we don't have it, we will actually have to hold on to it with the crane. Because that's the only way we have to hold on to it. Now if you had another truck, you could put it in another vehicle and do it that way. But I don't have another vehicle with me. So now we're just going to have to hold on to this log or pipe and drive around now we're hitting about 12 frames with the log without the log we can hit 50 easily and it, it was just kind of a quirky thing i'm actually really happy with its functionality 
Here in a sec, I'll show over, show off another thing you can do with the crane, which isn't picking things up. I guess you could grab a bunch of things and do all that, but the crane does serve a purpose in spin tires to also help get vehicles out of the mud and out of bad situations, which kind of does translate to scrap mechanic somewhat. However, in scrap mechanic with the lift, it's kind of unnecessary, but if the lift ever goes away for survival, maybe it'll serve a purpose one day. Now let's, I'm not in the crane. Let's get in the crane, and now we can simply ditch our log. Let's just toss it behind us. Let's get it out past our truck. Put it down to the ground. Press 7. And then we can pick it back up. And now we've dropped our log off and our frame rate is starting to return to normal. So that's good. Now I'm going to put this on a lift so I can reset the crane. When you get the crane, it will be folded up like this. So to push my point, let's flip the truck. And I've missed the truck. Good for me. Let's flip the truck again. Let's try this this time. This is something you can actually end up doing if you try and pick up a log or something too heavy from the wrong side. You can flip the truck quite easily. So now in this situation, let's just extend our crane. And let's just rotate our crane. Once we have it in a somewhat decent position, we can actually push our truck up. Now you're not going to be able to lift it from the back. But because of the way it would be on the side, you can rotate it quite well. I do apologize for that beep. And my camera has died again. Great. But you can flip the truck back over with the crane if the lift wasn't there. There we go. Now we can get back on our wheels. We can pick our crane back up. And stow it back away for whatever we need it for next time. Trying to get it back into its locked position. Well, not really its locked position because it doesn't lock, but it's stored position. And now it's tucked away all nice and we could continue on our way. If we wanted to grab the log, we could grab the log. If not, we're going to get stuck on our lift. There we go. Power over it. And go on our way to get whatever cargo we need next. So that will be the end of the video. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy the channel, enjoy what I do. Please subscribe. It helps a lot. And if you do want to help out the channel right now, shares help out the channel the most. So if you do want to help out the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for sticking around. And until next time, peace.